Why yeah. are we here? Actually, we are both passionate in organics, organics food, and yeah. then we are here for food to farm. Food to farm is basically uh, what we started off as a business to business marketplace. We we didn't know where to start off with in the beginning. We're not sure if we should start with Thailand, China, Indonesia, yeah. Malaysia. We, we started visiting, I mean I started visiting Penang for a while and check out the organic farm. But, and then I went to China to do my research on organic farm as well. I even went for the exhibition um, convention over there, but I didn't feel like there's a connection with the people. Because I realized that most of them, when they grow organic food because it's profitable, I mean, of course, you know, it has to be profitable, you know, you have, you have to be sustainable for your own family and your own, yeah, your own lives and all. And then when, when I came to Thailand, I felt like, you know, there's like an instant connection when I talk to the people and then understand how they live their life. And then when I started doing my own research, calling them about 30 farmers a day, there was like language barrier, this and that, but we persisted and that's why we're here. And we're here in uh, Greg and Lake um, yeah. Farm. Or big and camp, actually. Yeah, yeah and I, I was very rude when uh, they contacted <laughs> yeah. me. Because this was like some somebody from like... Uh, from Singapore. From like. Singapore calling me on my phone number. My, my Danish phone number it was very weird. Yeah, but, but because but, the number was on the yeah. <laughs> But I was... I was I'm very, I'm very happy that uh, they were so persistent and... Uh, mm. And you're persistent and you came here to visit anyway, even though I was so rude <laughs> in the well, beginning. Okay, I forgive you. <laughs> okay, that's fine. Yeah. No anger. No, no anger. anger. <laughs> Peaceful. <laughs> yes. Okay, yeah. cool. Yeah, Yeah. so um, I think ever since we came to Thailand, we, like I said, we started off as a business to business marketplace. Then when we started visiting more farms, we realized that uh, it's more important for us to help yeah. to solve the problems and the challenges that they are facing. Some farms uh, that we work together with, they are mostly small and medium uh, farms, and exactly. they have problems like manpower issues. They don't have enough people working on the farm mm -hmm. to help mm -hmm. out on the farm. Mm -hmm. Secondly is budget. They mm -hmm. don't have the kind of money to um, you know, even do the website or mm. you know, do their own marketing. Mm. They just don't have the right people to do it. Mm. Mm. And especially so if even if they're not sustainable, sometimes you know maybe certain housing they need to pay, you know, a lot mm. of things they have to pay, like, you know, that you can't use fruits and vegetables to pay with, right? Yeah. Of course. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. And, and it's being certified. Yeah. Yeah. It's very difficult. Correct. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. To be certified by the organic organization. Mm. Yeah. Mm. So it's a it's actually like um a problem that we see across a lot of farms here in Thailand and I think uh, it could be it could be solved if all organic farmers stand together in a community yeah. not just like oh I'm a farm itself and then mm. no that's my way you know and any other people that leaves like across me or whatever does not matter to me but I don't think that should be the way mm -hmm. I think um, especially in Thailand there is a lot of farms and I think it's that I mean it's it's really important for those that is really doing organic farming to spread to spread the word, to share the knowledge about growing organically, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and also about your lifestyle, your diet, and yeah. So 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 yeah. yeah. Um, I think it's a great because we, mm -hmm. we it would be amazing if we could get people to come and help. For example, during the longan season, because mm -hmm. there are a lot mm -hmm. of longan needed to be picked. So if we have volunteers picking longan, they yeah. can eat all the longan they want. That would yeah. be amazing. That would yeah. be. Definitely. Super yeah. that if people wanted to come here and, and pick the longan here and also in the big land, yeah. uh, and I also like uh, mm, like what are your thoughts about the organic? You know, we spoke about real orga organic, uh, like the sixty kilometer and five year transition period. Is is that what you uh, also um, experience that farms are in in Thailand? Because like this is we are just like transitioning to to organic. Because we we don't we are not all organic, right? Mm. So so what is your your experience of like Thai farms? Are they like one hundred real organic with no spraying in sixty kilometer radius around, or how, how what do you check for if like other farms are interested? What do we check for? Okay, so well well my personal thought on organic farming is not of like how the certification is doing mm -hmm. yeah. but you know because most organizations they you know they have a very strict 
um, guidelines or you know 60 kilometers you know your surrounding water must be like what you know certain kind of nutrients must be present in the soil you know five years isn't that I don't think um, okay well these are strict guidelines you know where farms can follow mm -hmm. but personally what I think is that is it's more about the people that's growing the food mm. yeah exactly food is I mean we 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 need to eat right in order to live in that sense right and when the farmers grow their food, when they don't use any chemical, it's a lot about the connection from you to the earth and the people around you. It's not about you um, demonstrating you have this certificate. Yeah. I'm hundred percent organic, you know, yeah. buy from me. Mm. It's not but about it's about being yeah. certified. Yeah. Okay, right. It's a relationship that you have with the farmers, with the people, the, the customers, the people that wants to eat organic. It's the kind of relationship nothing can certify that, I would mm. say. So if a farmer really put their heart and soul and they, they, they say that they don't do any chemical, um, like they don't put any chemical into, into the food that they grow. And I think it, it's a lot about trust, mm. you know, that you have with the farmers. Mm. Mm. In the beginning, all this certification is all like a guideline. Mm. At the end, right, it's about the true relationship that you have with the people around you. Mm. It's not the certificate. So, I mean, that's, that's our guideline in that sense. We have to go down and meet the farm, see how the people are. We visit the farm, you know, we try to produce and then we share the people and then we, we, we get feedbacks, you know, what do we think of the food? Mm -hmm. You know, if we don't tell them it's organic, maybe they'll think, oh, you know, like, you know, they have different opinions because, I mean, right now in a society, everybody just choose what to believe, you know? Mm -hmm. if, if somebody tells them that, you know, this is organic, maybe they just blindly follow that's organic, but maybe it's not, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So if you know your farmers, the people that grow food for you, it's a different story because mm -hmm. you have a certain connection with the people. Okay. Yeah. Good to know. Mm -hmm. You wanted to tell a bit about yourself. Your, your, yeah, you have told about the organization you started, the Food to Farm. Mm -hmm. and what about uh, you were talking about? You, you want to introduce yourselves? Ourselves? Yeah, uh, we actually met on uh, Singapore Airlines as a batch mate. And when yeah. we training, together. we got selected by the airlines, and then we were put in the same batch before we started to fly and then yeah. we became really close after we, we did like a trip we did some Moscow yeah, yeah. Are, are you like steward together. stewardess yeah, yeah we used to be stewardesses yeah, yeah for Singapore Airlines yeah. and then we left and then want to do something yeah crazy <laughs> <laughs> is this crazy uh, <laughs> no I, I think it's a very good uh, good project I think it's yeah it's uh, yeah, amazing it's like so yeah, yeah. We, we have one more partner, but uh, he's not oh. able to join us yeah. this time around because um, he has, because we started this startup, right? And it's quite confusing with our profile, Singapore, Malaysia, and then Dutch, right? Yeah. So, yeah. so it's just all really complicated all over the world, yeah. 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 <laughs> so, but I think uh, regardless of nationality, as long as our hearts and mind are united, yeah. mm. it doesn't matter where we are. Sure, sure, sure. Yeah. 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 Okay, right. So I think that's pretty much about us, you know. Great. Really met, you know. Cool. Yeah, let me know if I can help. I, I I know a little bit about computers, so maybe I can uh, help you a bit with with some things and also websites. <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> because well, you see. didn't know what we're doing, and <laughs> <laughs> then so maybe you can help us with a website. Uh, we are not good at website. Okay? Yeah, just yeah, saying yeah, because okay. we have different background. Okay. Well, I study hospitality and tourism, mm. so that's a really totally different background. Yeah. Yeah, we don't have any background of agriculture as well. No, mm. but uh, we're when we're learn. doing this, we are actually um, learning, learning yeah. as well. Mm. We do our own research and then visit farms, getting uh, more experience. Mm. And of course, you know, meeting um, orga organic certification yeah. organization yeah. to mm. understand more about mm. their guidelines and all. Mm. Actually, yeah. we are meeting uh, one of them and we are back in Bangkok. Mm -hmm. to talk more about how we can help more farmers to get certified mm -hmm. because the world wants to see them getting certified, right? Yeah. So we yeah. can see about how we can um, author some guidelines and sure. maybe we can do a mentorship for the farms. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm. You are visiting different farms. I, I would like to link the different farms in the description for this video. And uh, yeah. yesterday you, you guys visited Mindful Farm and today you're visiting us here in Lee, Lampoon. <laughs> it's like a three, two and a half hour drive from yeah. Chiang Mai, yeah, south yeah. from Chiang Mai. Yeah. And what do you think? What is uh, what do you think about this place? The good and the bad. And it's worth it to drive yeah. two hours and a half. 
Well, it was a, it was a very easy drive actually. Yeah. It's because it's not really way. in the mountains. We don't re really go like crazy yeah. Yeah. turns and all up and down the mountains. So yeah. it's a really easy drive, even though it's slightly longer. You know, yeah. usually about one and a half hour, one hour, we'll be there at the farm. But in fact, time passed really quickly. The view was so nice. We took a lot of picture. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and when we arrived, yeah. um, it's really nice um, to see this really beautiful place. And they grow lots of stuff here. Yeah? And what I especially like is that um, the food. Yeah, of yeah. course, the food. Yeah, <laughs> food, food by definitely the, the food. Lake. Oh, yeah, the lake is so really delicious. Good food. Seriously. <laughs> <laughs> like the, we had the song, song tam. Song, song tam, yeah. Fire salad. Really yeah. delicious. Yeah, so, so as you can see, it's all cleaned up. It's so. all empty. It's just a plate. <laughs> yeah, and, and then we have really good um, rice berry that's yeah. done by Greg because um, usually uh, Lake would say it's uh, my <laughs> Too hot. Yeah, yeah, so today was really today good. Is perfect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and then he was so happy. You were so happy. <laughs> yeah, I was happy. You were just like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah. I cooked the rice that the, our guests and Leg like at the same time, and I like. Whoa! <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, so it's a really beautiful place here. Mm. Yeah. Even now, when we are done with lunch, we can just sit here and chill with yeah. the wind coming so in. Relaxed. Mm. Yeah. Coming through this hut. Yeah. So, so what do you think about like coming and trying these? vegetables like directly or like steamed the without you know you, you taste the, the 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 product that was like picked from the plant oh you mean the pumpkins for example from pumpkins or the eggplants oh. what is what, what i have to say about the pumpkins then you know um when you guys introduce us you think there's the young and the old one right and the young one i didn't actually try the young one you try the young I one had, yeah what She's do you think of it different. the a uh, mature one, the mature one is sweeter than the young one. And just yeah. now, uh, the creamy. Yeah, just now you show us the pumpkin, like it one cut into the half, half yeah. and then we smell it, and it's different in color and the yeah. smell as well. Yeah. So we yeah. learn how to differentiate the mature and the young pumpkins. Yeah, when it's the, yeah. the natural taste of the pumpkin yeah. just you know comes out. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. so we really liked it. Mm -hmm. it's, it's probably my first time trying it out like that. Yeah, usually it's we my cook it with something too. else. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm. So it's really good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Super perfect. Uh, yeah. Thank you for guys thank for coming you. and uh, yeah, thank you. Thank good you luck with the project. It's really nice that we like want to get the food grown on farms directly to the people and maybe have people come directly to the farms and and, yeah. Uh, yeah. and get the fruit and vegetables. That would be perfect. Yeah. So keep up the good work and uh, have a great journey back to Chiang Mai yeah, and sure. uh, to really the next next place. Yeah. Okay, thank, thank you. you.